Hi guys, Suckle here. I would like to show you my mods for uh, Mobs Redo, which I was working on uh, for the past days, and that's uh, spawners. So you can spawn some animals. You can spawn chickens, cows, warthogs, bunnies, kittens and sheep. So this is how it looks like when the spawner is active. So it will produce and spawn randomly some animals. It has checks around the node, around the spawner, if there is an air. So for example you cannot put the spawner inside the water because it will become inactive and it will just not spawn any animals in this in this state when it's in water there is no air no place for the animal to spawn same as when you close the spawner like this and all the entries from and to the spawner are closed it will not spawn any animals but once you open them it will start working again another check is for the light so if you put a spawner in a dark area it has no not enough light here is f enough light then it will not spawn any animals unless you put some torches around to create some more light <laughs> sometimes it takes a while uh, it depends on how randomly it spawns the animals and then it will automatically become active. So when there is no, no not enough light, after a while it will just not spawn any animals right now and it will become inactive. For the recipe let me see. It's not cheap, so you don't get your server too overcrowded with loads of spawners. It needs a diamond block, which contains, which you can craft from nine diamonds. It needs four of them. It needs iron bars and uh, flint and steel and uh, the animal itself so how you can catch the animal you can look in the mobs redo from 10 plus 1 there you can see how you can catch the animals so you can use them to craft spawner Let me show you my grinder. So because I was away, those spawners are inactive. So it requires to have to be player around. So once you could get back in the area, they will become automatically active and start spawning animals. once you get out of the area they will just turn off and don't spawn any animals so you have to be around if you want the animals to be spawned when you have too many animals spawned in the area or too many entities like as you can see here there is a lot of items plus spawning a lot of animals the spawners becomes overheated and it will also stop spawning unless there is enough free space to spawn on new animals then it will become active again so uh, if you just let your spawn uh, spawner spawning animals without uh, picking up all the items or you have too many spawners just to protect your server to not get overheated and uh, get errors 
the spawner's wheel gets just disabled. So make sure you have some system down there to pick up all your items or you do it manually. So you can see there is a lot of them now and all of them are getting deactivated. So if I'll just free the space here If I get rid of these grounds, I have a hoppers here, <laughs> and the hoppers will collect all the items. So it will free out the space for new animals to get spawned. And you see many of them are getting active already. Since there is enough space for the entities to get spawned. There is enough light. <laughs> and down here, the hoppers will collect all the dropped items. This is for, from before. and collect them to the chests <laughs> and from the chest cooked and you can gather a lots of cooked meat So guys, like this you can create nice uh, grinders, collect lots of items, Just be careful with the where, you sp where you place your spawners so they have enough light and they are, they are having uh, enough uh, space around so they can spawn an animal. And you are around also otherwise they get inactive. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this uh, mode. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I see you in the next <laughs> mode. Thank you for watching. See you later. <laughs>